All right, guys, we gotta be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're gonna run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm gonna run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60! Your school doesn't have a program? Be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Welcome to This Week with Sheriff Dave Phelan, a weekly program here on LSN Television right here in Lancaster, and we're also carried by a number of our radio affiliates in Fairfield County and beyond. Do appreciate you, the viewers and listeners that join us each and every week where we have guests from within the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office and also throughout the community. Back by popular demand two weeks in a <laughs> row is Loretta Phelan. Good to see you, Loretta. Hi, good to see you. And Loretta, my, my, my boss here, so we're uh, good to see you. And uh, last week we had a lot to talk about and uh, we wanted to bring you back because we didn't get everything in we needed to talk about. Certainly uh, Grace Haven Place and Sarah's House, two homes here in Lancaster that service women when they get out of jail, if they have nowhere to go, if they want to get their life together, this is a place where they can go and something that uh, God placed on your heart many, many years ago actually started with the jail ministry mm -hmm. and then from there evolved into a, a couple of homes. Real briefly, um, for the viewers that may have not seen the program last night, and for the viewers or listeners out there that may not know what Grace Haven is, would you kind of talk about that? And, and it's funny because we do this so much. Sometimes we think everybody should know mm -hmm. what Grace Haven is, or everybody should know what programs we have within the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office. But I'm often surprised at people that really have never heard of Grace Haven or, or, or heard of a lot of programs we have at the Sheriff's Office. So why don't you uh, give us a little thumbnail sketch of what Grace Haven Place is? Okay, well, Grace Haven Ministries is not affiliated with the sheriff's office. Not at all, not at all. Okay. <laughs> Except that, that we are close. But, um, and I appreciate your support so much. But uh, it is a home for women who are getting out of jail. Our ministry is at the jail. And uh, we do a weekly Bible study. We also do a weekly biblical counseling class at the jail. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the house is a place that if someone really wants to change and really wants to, to get going and doesn't have any support from families, because a lot of times they burnt their bridges. Right. You know. Right. So we give them another chance at Grace Haven, or two, or three chances. Now you talked a little bit about the jail ministry and how that's kind of tied to Grace Haven Place, uh, and and you go to the jail a, a couple of times a week with with other ladies. Oh yes. And and tell us about what what you do while you're at the Fairfield County Jail and how many women attend that uh, that uh, program. Well, uh, we go on Monday evenings. And it's a smaller class, 12 to 20 people, and we actually do a class, mm -hmm. and they have homework, and they turn it in, and, mm -hmm. and if they uh, complete the class, they get a certificate. So, um, and then we also go on Thursdays and have more like a church service, uh, singing, and, and uh, someone brings a message, and all women, and we have just so many different women involved, volunteers, uh, um, across the community at different churches, and uh, it is a Christian organization but it's non-denominational. Okay. Now, when, when the women get out of jail, how do you make a determination who is a good fit for Grace Haven and who, may, who, who, who it may not work for? Well, we more or less take anybody. Okay. okay. <laughs> so anybody that wants to, wants to try, uh, we do screen for untreated mental health because we ha didn't used to screen for that, and we've, we'd had just a couple little issues. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, we, we say, you know, if you can get in somewhere and get treatment, then uh, we'll take them. Also, a violent offense. If someone has had a violent offense or anger issues, uh, we don't want to put anyone in danger at the houses, so we, we won't allow them to come. And Grace Haven isn't a treatment center. It's no. not a, a center where they have uh, counseling or anything like that. So how does that 
fit in with with the, the counseling component uh, the uh, how, how does that tie between the courts sometimes mm -hmm. between the courts and Grace Haven yeah, well we work pretty well together uh, a lot of times people that are getting treatment at the recovery center if they don't have a place to come that you know they refer them to us um, uh, and you know we support everything that the courts say you know that they need to do we put that first priority um, to help the ladies get through that. We have people from drug court, people from family court, and you know that's the real heartbreak to the family court because they're trying to get back with their children. We have right. children, the children come and visit and do all nights and things like that sometimes. And so, um, but uh, our whole programming at Grace Haven is all Christ-centered. Okay. And so we have like a Christian budgeting class on Monday nights. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, Thursday nights, we have Bible study. Tuesday mornings, we do the biblical counseling. Uh, Friday night, uh, one of our um, ladies that have been through the house years ago is doing a Christian 12-step. So we wow. and we do have a, a like if the girls cannot get counseling, we do have a volunteer that a couple volunteers that are counselors and that will volunteer their time just to be a friend to them. Not anything professional, but is there an average age and also length of stay? I would say average age would be 30. What's that old? Because we have uh, 18. Yes. And then we also have had 50s. Okay. So actually, we've had a 60 before. Okay. So um, normally they're like from 18 to 35. That's okay. the normal range. Okay. And, uh, yeah, length of stay, the average length of stay is four months. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had people stay as little as one day. Right. <laughs> well, and, and they may have gotten there and said, I don't want the restrictions. Right. So there is accountability. There they're, is accountability. They're drug tested. Yes. There are certainly rules. Yes, uh, they sign in. What, what are out. some of the rules? With it? Because and I guess the other thing that kind of comes to mind, if there's someone out there today, whether it be a parent, a brother, sister, and they're saying, well, my, my loved one's not in the jail, but Grace Haven will take people outside of the criminal justice system, right? Absolutely. If we have a free bed open, I even had a mom uh, call and said, you know, I need somewhere for a couple days with my kids, and I'm willing, we're willing to do that if the homeless shelters are full or, or something like that. So, so it goes beyond the jail. Yeah, And absolutely. even goes beyond the mission, depending on the need, right? Well, not, not, not whatever, always, but whoever God sends us, we uh -huh. try to meet needs, whoever God sends us. How, how do people get connected with this? Um, oh, what do you, you mean the to, people that Just come? to call you, just right? Just to call me, right. Okay, yeah. why, why don't we give that number? Yeah. We'll also, uh, if you're listening or viewing today, we're going to also give the number before we go off the air. Why don't you give them your phone number? And that is your phone, and you'll take that's, calls that's all, right. all the time, right? <laughs> and she does take them all the time, at all hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 740-808-6255. Okay, 808-6255. We'll be putting that out here toward the end of the program. So if you uh, need to get a pencil or something, go ahead and do that right now. So Grace Haven Ministry, there's two homes, Sarah's Place and Grace Haven. Um, one of the, uh, is there any particular, I know there's a few of these stories that kind of come to mind that kind of really kind of touched your heart uh, during the, the years you worked with Grace Haven? Well, I know there's a number of them. There's a lot of them. That's, yeah. that's really a difficult. Um, um, and, and just let me say that um, our mission is to touch lives for Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and to plant seeds of hope. And uh, we are 100% effective in that. We are not 100% effective in helping people stay off drugs. And uh, But as far as getting the news about Jesus and, and right. learning, so there is somebody out there that loves you and cares right. for you, and there is right. another option, right? right? Absolutely. Um, as far as, um, you know, one of my favorite stories is, is the one where um, a young lady completed a year and uh, got an apartment, one of the area churches furnished the apartment for her, towels and everything. and. Uh, she called me right before Thanksgiving and said, um, could I borrow your roaster? And I wasn't cooking Thanksgiving this, that year, so I said, sure. And so I took it over to her. Well, uh, around Christmas, I went to call to, to get my roaster back, and uh, she, had, she was gone, and I didn't know where she had went. So um, anyway, a year goes by, didn't hear anything, and on Christmas Eve uh, the next year, she called and said, you know, I just want you to know that 
I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I've got my kids. Mm -hmm. I did have a little trouble there for a while, but I'm back on track. And, and the things I learned at Grace Haven is what's helped me to do that. So wow. that was the best Christmas gift you could get. And I think the, the, the one thing that we hear from people that are in, in jail, whether it's the Fairfield County Jail, whether they're coming out of the penitentiary, when they get out of jail, two problems they have. First of all, well, there's a number, but, but, <laughs> but, but one thing is they don't have anywhere to go. They don't have anywhere to stay, and sometimes these girls are forced to go back to their drug dealing boyfriends or from environments where it's not very desirable. And then the other part of the equation is they don't have a job. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think any of us can imagine how devastated that would be, if, especially if you had a dependency on drugs, even if you wanted to change how that, how in many ways uh, the deck is stacked against you going out of the jail. That's why I really think it's, it's such a wonderful ministry, what you and the ladies are doing at Grace Haven. But even beyond that, once again, part of it is hopefully to get them set for that next phase, getting an apartment, mm -hmm. reunited with their family, and then getting a job, right? Right. Well, they get they get jobs while they're at Grace Haven. So. And, right. And, and you know, um, this community is so wonderful. Right. Um, we have a reentry uh, coordinator that works with them. You know, we've got people at uh, 211. We've got Job and Family, the Recovery Center, the court system. Uh, most everybody in our community is proactive to help those who want help. But it all comes down to they've got to be the ones to do it. You know, we can't do it for them. And so we give them the tools, we give them the knowledge, then they have to do their part. They have to do their part, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Coming up next month, this is important because one of the things, <laughs> one of the challenges for Grace Haven in any ministry or anything like this mm -hmm. is it is entirely dependent on donations. Right. So big event coming up in February. What, what we mentioned it, uh, just briefly last week. Why don't you tell the viewers and listeners a little bit about what's coming up in February and I, I hope they're going to have an interest out there. Okay, well it's our annual fundraiser. We have um, a, the major fundraiser once a year and this year it's a chili cook-off and it's uh, at Fairfield Christian Church. We do rotate churches but this year it's Fairfield Christian and, and uh, and what it is is people enter their chili. It's a dinner, and mm -hmm. you know we'll have salad and bread and dessert and um, and a silent auction. So uh, the tickets are suggested donation of ten dollars per person or twenty per immediate family. You know the people that live under your roof. Okay. And um, if you enter your chili, you get in free. So um, what a just, deal! They just bring a crock pot of chili, and we assign a number, and there's prizes for okay. the chili, and and we are accepting silent auction donations too. Uh, but there'll be I know we have a night at a lodge, this a beautiful lodge that we've stayed at, and and uh, we have some nice silent auction items. And if you're a merchant out there, or you're just someone that maybe wants to get a silent auction item. It's a great opportunity. Right. Plus, th that evening when you go there, there's some great values. There really is. And, you know, do a theme basket. People love theme baskets and, right. and things like that. So if you, you know, if you want to help and, and you don't want to be hands-on or, mm -hmm. or something like that, this is a, a really good way to help. And, you know, we talk about theme baskets where they'll have, a, like, a ticket to the show. No. Popcorn right. and those kind of things. Yeah, and, uh, a chocolate basket. A chocolate basket. Coffee mm -hmm. basket. Or yeah. Uh, movies or you know whatever. So again, if they're interested, uh, that's coming up February twenty third. Yes. Fairfield Christian Church mm -hmm. starts at six to eight. Six to eight. And mm -hmm. certainly, if you're, we we invite everybody to, to show up, support this wonderful ministry, this wonderful cause. And then again, your phone number if they want to get with you and the website. Okay. For, it's seven four zero eight zero eight six two five five, and our website is Grace Haven Fairfield. Dot com. Okay. It's February 23rd. And uh, Fairfield Christian students are helping serve. And, are they? Yes. Very cool. So, um, and, and you've I, already got some great silent auction items coming uh, up? Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's exciting. We And we are a 5013C. So. And one of the things we're going to do is a one of the auction uh, uh, silent auction <laughs> items is to have a uh, day with the with the sheriff. Uh -huh. And uh, yes. they're going to have a, an evening uh, with Loretta and I. We're going to have dinner. And then we're going to be taking you a little tour of the sheriff's office and uh, to be 
be able to ride with one of the cruisers. Yeah, wow. So wouldn't that be a great night? And, then, fact, and all night at the jail if they wanted. And all night. That, <laughs> that's free. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. But no chocolate under the pillow or anything like that. No, in fact, we have one of our uh, students here, one of the cameramen, so uh, inter interested in going law enforcement, yeah. so that might be something he's interested in. Yeah, huh? that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, the clock on the wall says we've got to go. Again, coming up February 23rd will be Grace Haven's yearly fundraiser. That's a great event here at Fairfield Christian Church. If you're interested, please give Loretta a call. It's 740-808-6255. Do appreciate you, the viewers and listeners, and certainly appreciate Loretta coming Thank by for the last have. couple of weeks. Well, the clock on the wall says we've got to go. Until next week, same time, same place. God bless, and we'll see you right here next week. Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Absolutely. How do I change the ringtone? Just hook it up to your computer. Does it have a camera? What's the warranty? Does it come in silver? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Does it have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack? You sell a lot of these? It's the one I carry. You ever get those phantom vibrations in your pocket? Any questions? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov.